Hey guys, Jason here on a Sunday vlog. Um, so I'm out of my truck cleaning it up and I did something that kind of made me realize I should have started the camera a while back, but um, I had broken the cable on my one of my tools a while back um, that's used to open doors and I was trying to switch out with the new cable. I've had the cable for a while, just hadn't needed the tool and I thought I'm gonna go ahead and grab it today and do that. So I'm gonna switch the camera around. So again, it's a um, Kedex lever opening tool and I have grabbed this new cable and has to go through there and it won't. So I need to bend that out and then bend it back. So instead of doing what I should have done and grabbing my Nipex pliers, I grabbed uh, this kind of I've talked about it before I hate these things I grabbed this crummy pair of um, vice grip uh, knockoff of the Nipex and I went to use it just to do the simple matter of bending this open well it slipped these crappy jaws slipped off made it slip off and when it slipped my fingers right there it it vibrated so hard that like it bruised just now bruised the tips of my fingers so my tips of my fingers are extremely sensitive right now um i hate these things <laughs> i could have broken my window oh well you get the point they're gone okay so well back to this i'm gonna um Stop this right now and be back with you in a second. Okay, I'm gonna go back here and grab what I should have done to begin with. Out of my veto. Or maybe. One of those two will get it. All right, so sorry about the funny camera angle here, but that's closest I could get it. All right, so no, those aren't going to vibrate when they close on me. So I'm just going to open that up a little bit. Looks like I'm gonna have to open and slide this under at the same time. Pretty interesting camera angle. There I am, sorting the inside of my van in the back, putting door locks on the shelves like they're supposed to be. All brands got them boxed up according to brand, and. Uh, yeah, truck's just a mess from the week of working. So I'll spend a little bit of time doing this. And sort in the front, and it's a horrible mess right now because I've got everything like thrown out and scattered around on the ground out here. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing on a Sunday. Leave a comment. Tell me what you do on Sundays. 
this always takes two or three hours and it's gonna be too cold here in Mississippi which means cold is below below like 50 uh, we don't really get snow here we kind of get icy mush every so often but other than that it's a pretty day but starting to get chilly here I guess it's about 50 right now with the Sun out no clouds and uh, so anyway yeah you can see if you see right here I keep some of my common car opening tools that I use often all on three magnetic three magnetic uh, rails and I've got other ones in the back but I don't use those as often so really don't use those often anymore either because I don't do a whole lot of car unlocking I do mostly residential and commercial stuff so used to do a lot more car unlocking and that's why I have a smaller Astro van instead of a bigger one because I went into parking garages we've got a downtown with a bunch of parking garages and the bigger vans are a lot harder to move around we've got some really tight parking garages downtown and I used to have to go to them all the time to unlock vehicles but since then as I've done that less and less I wish I had a bigger van these small vans I'm gonna have to get a new one soon and these small vans little bread box things are so ugly no offense if you have one, but I mean, I just don't like that shape at all. I've looked in them and I'm thinking maybe a Nissan version or I just don't know what to get. What kind of van, what kind of new truck should I get, guys? Let me know in the comments. Uh, need a lot of storage, so I'm going to have to put cabinets and you can see the Adrian Steel cabinets back there. Here, I'll release you. see what I mean about too too small I've got too much hardware that I carry around too many tools shelves are full of stock and keep plastic bins like that's my wiser LSDA bin that I have to this is new hardware that just came in that I gotta put in there so that means I gotta reorganize it and uh yeah you can see there's no room at all to sit in here so i do my rekeying from out here Got it. i know to just okay calm down it's getting clean today so like have a lock that I'm reeking and put it here. Flip over my pen and kit and my tools. So, you know, like I said, as the week goes, I just grab stuff out of a tool bag or whatever and it gets thrown here and the stuff gets messy. There's a deadbolt cylinder in here somewhere that I gotta find today um, that somehow I put it right here and it disappeared. But, uh, yeah, clean, clean the tool bags out again. And that's it. So, I'll be back with you all in a little while. Alright, for those of y'all who winced and groaned when you saw my rekeying area. Just showing you that I am straightening it up. Getting it organized again. Getting it ready for next week. And, just wanted to show you that, yes, I do do clean that area even though it didn't look like it before it just gets messy from using it all right so that's it peace